All right, this statue I saw on the way to the castle. This is one of the founding fathers, the, the big six of the people that created Ghana as a country. So this is outside the castle. We have to check in over here to park our car. And on to the right, I noticed some palm trees. And just checking out the castle outside. What up? Anyway, so I decided to go to the right to see what was by the palm trees. Are oh, these guys over here pretty friendly, but they're trying to sell me something and we're just gonna walk past them. And over here, you get to see the side of the castle on the left. And then there's ocean straight ahead. And this is a site if you never saw like a fort like a lighthouse and you're seeing waves crashing against the shore all right so as i'm here there's some locals trying to get our attention trying to sell his stuff. There's also a guy over here trying to convince us that he swept the rocks. He swept the rocks and polished them. And therefore, we should pay him, give him a tip for doing this. We were nice, cordial, but, you know, we ain't gave him no tip. But anyway, check out the castle, the waves, the air is crisp. And this kid, yeah, he was, he's, trying to be my guide for some some reason and then just following me and trying to make sure I don't fall and pointing at stuff but you know God bless his heart but yeah this part of the side of the castle is pretty cool alright so here we go this is like the reception area. Well, not the main reception area. Uh, to the right, there's a market. So in this market, um, they're like playing drums and you can get like souvenirs to represent your trip in Ghana. You can get clothing as you can see. Um, this guy here is trying to help me. So you kind of see what they're selling and you know like i said they were playing drums i know where the drums coming from i did not see the drummer this is still part of the castle so we had to pay an extra fee for filming and there's an extra fee for non ghanians for foreigners so if you're ghanian you'll pay a little cheaper and if you're trying to record commercially you gotta pay a little bit more. I did kind of got a pit in my stomach right here. I did feel a little creepy, a little sad, and try to think what the slaves saw when they got to this place and how they were treated. So we decided we just gonna walk around before the tour starts. And I did that because I was trying to see the fort without people. So we can get a clear video of what's left and what kind of condition the place is in. And like I said, try to put yourself in that mindset of you being chains, forced against your will to come here. All right guys, also take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. 
so this video i'm just going to show you guys more of the the outside there's going to be a part two where you're going to hear more from the tour guide and she's going to go into detail about everything in the beginning well this is before the tour started they do kind of let you free roam so once you paid your fee you can walk around you don't have to stick to the tour guide you can stop take pictures you kind of can walk around the whole castle so i thought that was cool so over here we saw the cannons and there's cannons all over this so you'll see a lot of cannons you'll see like some rusted old cannonballs of course the cannon's not active it's pure decoration you get to see the ocean yeah man the ocean look look beautiful and listen to the waves it's kind of soothing on the left of the castle there is a, like a market a port people uh there you can hear tools there's kids running around there's a loudspeaker selling some type of merchandise so this area is actually where the slave ships would have been and the slave ships will be more out to sea so you'll be walked over to smaller boats and then taken up there all right guys stay tuned for part two so on the right ghana admits to being too hospitable to the slave traders basically allowing them to buy and operate this place and on the left plaque is commemorating when the Obamas visited. So in the next video, we're gonna have part two. Don't forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See y'all in the next one.